Hello, my name is Prashant and I'm a technical marketing engineer with the Cisco SD-WAN product team. Here is a demo of the cell service portal. First, the control lifecycle management and deployment accelerator use cases. SSP.SDWAN.Cisco.com is the cell service portal. Login using the CCO credentials. For the first time login or if not using enterprise IDP for subsequent login, use the login via external Cisco IDP option. Verify with any of the authentication options. Here, email authentication is selected. On the SSP dashboard, various options are available. The create overlay option can be used to deploy new controllers. In the workflow, SSP will show a list of virtual accounts which are under the selected smart account. Select the desired virtual account. Only the Cisco hosted deployment model is supported. Select the AWS or Azure Cloud and controller version. Next, select the AWS or Azure regions, which would be the primary and the secondary. A single node vManage will be created in the primary region, along with one vSmart and one vBond. And one vSmart, one vBond will be created in the secondary region. Selection of the location for exporting monitoring data is also available. An email address can also be specified to which notifications regarding the overlay infra will be sent. Only production overlay provisioning is supported. Review the request summary. Advanced options are also available. These can be used to set up custom subnets, custom DNS names, snapshot settings, and custom organization name. Submit the request to spin up the controller overlay. It takes a few minutes to provision the overlay and then SSP will show a unique password which needs to be used for logging in to the controllers. Next, the visibility and regulation use case. The metadata of the overlay can be viewed in the monitoring section. Click on any of the controllers to view the network and CPU data. The duration can also be selected. Click on inbound rules. This workflow helps to create rules to allow specific IP addresses which can access the controllers. From the drop down, select rule type and source IP range and click on add button. After adding all the rules required, click on save. Once inbound rules are created, we can log into vManage using the unique controller password. Next, the controller certificates have to be created and installed. If using Cisco PKI, in vManage administration settings, select Cisco for the controller certificate authorization and provide the smart account credentials. Generate certificate signing requests for each controller, submit to Cisco PKI for signing, retrieve signed certificates, and install it on the controllers. Once the certificates are installed, the overlay is ready to add and deploy edge routers to the SD-WAN fabric. Deleting overlays is not supported through SSP. In order to delete the overlay, please open a TAC case for the Cloud Ops team. Next, the operational services use case. By configuring an IDP in the SSP, access to the SSP can be controlled. Click on IDP details. Provide the necessary information. IDP signature certificate should be in the .pem format. Click on submit request. The accession consumer service URL and the audience URI generated here are to be used on the IDP provider. Once IDP is successfully set up, for the next login to the SSP, click on the login button so that it can redirect to the IDP for authentication. Currently, SSP supports SAML 2.0 only. Once IDP is set up, we can also create user roles which can be mapped to virtual accounts. Click on Go to Role Management. Enter the role name and associate permissions for each virtual account as needed. The RBAC levels available are Monitor, Overlay Management, and Administration. Click on Add Role to save. Need help with SSP? Open a support case selecting SD-WAN Cisco hosted SSP as the technology area. Thank you for watching.